this may be one of the best Jordan drops of 2022. But why should you care about it? How is the quality on these? Should you spend your hundreds of dollars on these? Stay tuned because in today's video, we are going to be breaking down the Air Jordan 12 in the playoff colorway. Yo, what's up everybody? As always, I hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed, and lovely day. I'm Jordan, a sneaker collector local to the Las Vegas area. Here we put out videos multiple times a week that revolve around sneaker culture and the sneaker world. We are currently on the road to 700 subs, so if you're a sneaker enthusiast like myself and want to stick around for more sneaker information, drop sneaker shopping videos, make sure to stay tuned. This weekend is going to be a long weekend. It's a great weekend for drops. I have a bunch of sneaker reviews coming coming out so if you guys want to stay tuned for those make sure to hit that sub button alrighty so let's waste no time and dive right into these shoes starting with the box we have the classic Jordan 12 box we have quality inspired by the greatest player ever on the back flip open lid and I'll give you guys a look at the size tag there is something I want to share with you in one second here there's a look at the size tag so as you guys can see there is no retail tag what I noticed when I was doing my research and waiting for this shoe was uh, people were saying it was going to drop for 200, people were saying it was going to drop for 210. I have some receipts here and Finish Line charged me 210 while Shoe Palace charged me $200. Um, I'm just happy I was able to get the shoe, but that is very, very interesting. So here are the receipts. There is the Shoe Palace one, $200, and the Finish Line one is right there 210 let me know how much they charge you for your pair that is a uh, very interesting so there's a ten dollar difference there but you know I'm just happy I was able to get my hands on the shoe make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video because I'm going to be showing you guys a 2004 pair mine and I want to share a little story with you so make sure you stay tuned for that but anyways let's go ahead and get into it there should be brown paper on the inside and I'll give you guys first look as always man this shoe let me say when I first saw it was dropping I was super excited so I'm very hyped for this release even if the materials and leather doesn't look as good as it was looking online I'm still very very happy I was able to get my hands on these oh the box is gonna rip Sheesh. <laughs> man these are clean these are clean people are sleeping look at that colorway that colorway is just insane man such a classic shoe so before we get into some of the history uh resale prices predictions whether you should cop or drop let's go ahead and just dive into the sneakers Ooh. From the bottom we have this white outsole with some black traction pads and the black jump man right there then we have a carbon fiber plate underneath moving to the midsole which you might think this is the midsole this is actually the outsole the midsole is right here right here right here and back here then we have the mud guards which is right here right here and the Jordan tags right there which are silver and then the leather upper something I love about the Air Jordan 12 is when you get the leather upper it is so so easy to clean you know you could get mud you could get a drink on it it'll be so easy to wash off prep sponsor me I'm playing <laughs> but yeah so we get the white mud guards uh, something I do want to say is, is if you guys are going to be wearing these a lot, the Jordan 12 tends to get a crease right around here, which can be pretty harsh. So make sure you guys stay aware of that. Then we got the black leather up here. We are laced up with black laces. 2-3 is embroidered uh, in white on the tongue. We got the red Jumpman, black sock liner, and a black insole with a red Jumpman on these.
ahead and dive into some of the history of the Air Jordan 12 in the playoff colorway. Air Jordan 12 in the playoff colorway has released four times, 1997, 2004, 2012, and 10 years later, 2022. Money himself wore these, which make these all the more sought after because people want something that they actually saw Jordan playing in. He wore these for the 97 All-Star Games where he dropped the first ever the first ever where he dropped the first ever All-Star Game triple double. So that's, you know, crazy. There is history behind this shoe. Not only does it look clean, you get the feeling of, "Hey, Jordan was wearing these. I'm wearing them." Now I got a few extra inches on my vertical. <laughs> Next thing we want to address is how are the quality on these. Feeling the leather, it is definitely not as soft as it looks. It looks really soft. I have to give that to Jordan Brand. It looks really, really soft, but I wish it would be a little softer, you know, but any shoe can improve on material, so I'm not gonna hold that against them. Next thing I do wanna dive into is, are these a cop or a drop? So for retail, I'd say these are definitely a cop. So if you're sitting on the fence about paying retail for these, one thing I am going to say is, there is history behind this shoe. And not only is there history behind the shoe, but the colorway looks good. When you mix those two things together, people are gonna start to want the shoe. This is really an everyday shoe. People want something they can wear a lot, and this is going to be a go-to. So with that being said, I feel like the prices on these, they are going to drop a little after drop day, but in the long term, these are definitely going to go up. So I would say do not sleep and cop a pair for a good price while you can. Let that good price be determined by your budget and how much you want to spend on the sneaker. Now, seeing this colorway, this is something I might just have to put on the shelf and holds close because this looks amazing. I'm not seeing any quality control flaws, which is a plus. I was not able to get my hands on a GS pair. Am I yelling? <laughs> I feel like I'm talking really loud. But um, quality controls on these is not looking too bad. I have seen a lot of quality control issues with the past Jordans that have been releasing, but these look very, very good which I am grateful for. Now, what I did want to share with you guys here, we have the Air Jordan 12 Retro. The order date was 325.04, so I was not even born yet. You got the Jordan face box looking amazing. Should they bring the face boxes back? I feel like they should. Those, those are just amazing. I remember the first time my dad showed me those. But these were my playoff 12s back. When I was just a baby check them out now look 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 where we're at this is like a full-size moment shout out to you if you know where what I'm referencing there full-size moment look at that and then not only these but I want to show you 2004 pair uh, this is a transfer request so you had to call and get the shoes transferred to your store again Facebook looks amazing these are really dusty um, but let me go ahead and show you guys what's in. This is my dad's pair. So me and him had a pair. These are really, really worn, which is nice. Um, you could definitely revive these. It would take a lot of work, but look, look at the difference. The, this is kind of crazy, you know, seeing the 2004 pair, seeing the 2022 pair, 18 year difference. That is insane. Look how much they were worn can start seeing that really really bad heel drag right there but man yeah so there is sentimental value in these shoes for me I am very very happy I was able to cop these but I know everybody's opinion is not going to be the same on these so let me know your thoughts on these did you cop or did you drop were you feeling them or did you get them and you were a little underwhelmed by how they came out like I said we are on the road to 700 subs make sure to stay tuned because we have so many more sneaker unboxing videos do you guys prefer the longer videos where I drop more information or do you guys like seeing the shorter videos where I get right to the point let me know in the comments thank you guys so much for spending your time here today i hope everyone has a beautiful blessed and lovely day and good luck on the rebellion air jordan ones if i'm able to cop i will have that sneaker review up for you guys without further ado not without further ado see ya transfer 2004 2004 but man look it was picked So that you some, it, nah, but uh, yeah. So we.
crap sponsor me uh <laughs> but nah uh crap it's so it is when you get the then the uppers we and then So this finish line receipt has my...